Welcome to Octopars. Octopars is an easy-to-use, non-coder-friendly web scraping tool that helps you fetch data from any websites. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to quickly grab data from yellowpages.com in under 15 minutes. Before we get work started, let's cover some basics first. In Octopars, to create a scraper is to create a task. There are two ways to build your task. You can build a task from scratch using advanced mode or use one of the pre-built template to scrape. Advanced mode is adaptable to most websites, even the most complex ones. It allows you to extract data behind login, do keyword searching, click on a dropdown, and many more. Template mode, on the other hand, provides pre-built template tasks for a good number of websites, such as Amazon, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, etc. These templates can be used directly without any setup. For most cases, simply type in the keywords and you'll get the data in minutes. Even though templates are easy to use, I usually recommend advanced mode for how flexible and powerful it is. And the best part, once you get a hang of it, you can capture data from any websites. For this reason, I'll walk you through the steps to extract the data we need using advanced mode. Ready? Let's do it. Let's say we want to get information on auto repair shops near San Francisco. I checked the site and found this information on the detail page of each auto shop. I'm going to capture the name of the auto shop, the address, contact number, the website URL, and one picture. The scraping process can be split into five simple steps. Step 1. Load a target web page within the Octopus Builder. Step 2. Create a pagination loop. Step 3. Create a loop to click through all the listings. Step 4. Select the data to extract. Step 5. Run a task to get data. Step 1. Load a target web page in Octopus. Select Advanced Mode. Click the plus sign to create a new task. In the URL extraction box, enter the URL to scrape. Here, the URL I used is this one I got when search for auto shops near San Francisco on yellowpages.com. Click Save URL to proceed. Now, we enter the task configuration interface. By default, the website to scrape will be loaded in the built-in browser. Switch on the workflow mode for better view. Step 2. Create a pagination loop. It's not hard to tell the information we need spans through more than one page. To scrape data on all pages, we need to create a pagination loop. Scroll down and locate the Next Page button. Click on it. Notice a number of actions are provided under the Action Tips menu. These are some of the possible next steps Octopus has come up with according to how you have interacted with the web page. In this case, we want to select Loop Click Next Page, as we obviously want to keep clicking on the Next Page button until it reaches the last page. Now you will notice how the workflow has already been updated to include a pagination loop. Step 3. Create a loop item. Next, we want to have Octopus to click on each auto shop in the list. To do this, click on the very first shop. Once the name is selected successfully, it will be highlighted in green. Do you see how the rest of the list got highlighted in red? This means Octopus has identified them as similar elements. Simply select Select All from the Action Tips menu to have the similar ones selected as well. We have the list of shops selected, but we still want to click on each one of them. For this, let's go ahead and select Loop Click Each Element. Again, if you switch back to the workflow, 
you can see a loop item has been generated inside a pagination loop automatically. Step 4. Select the data to extract. Now we have arrived on the detail page. We can click to extract the information needed. Click the name of the auto shop, address, and contact number. Select Extract Data from the Action Tips menu. Then click View Website. Select Extract the URL of the selected link. Finally, click on the picture of the auto shop. Select Extract URL of the selected image. Type in the name of the fields directly or select one from the predefined list. We want to make sure the task is saved when everything's done. And that's it! We're done! We've completed building our very first task. Before running the task, let's check the steps in the workflow. It's very important to understand how the workflow works. Octopars execute each action of the workflow in a top-down manner. The go-to-webpage action will be executed for once only. Anything built inside a loop gets repeated over and over again. For this particular task, the workflow goes like this. Go to web page. Click item. Extract data. Click to paginate. First, Octopars will load the search result page. Next, it goes on to click through all the auto shops listed on the first page, one by one. Then, extract the information we need from the detail page. Finally, when Octopars completes scraping the last shop on page one, it would execute click to pagination to go to the next page, where it would repeat what it has done on the first page. If by any changes, the workflow needs to be tweaked, simply drag the actions around to make it right. Final step, run a task to get data. After completing the setup and double checking the workflow, we are ready to run a task. There are two ways to run a task. Local extraction, that is to run a task on your local machine. And cloud extraction, which means the task would be run in the cloud. Local extraction is available for both free and premium users. When a task runs on your local machine, you can see the whole extracting process and how data gets extracted from the web page. But the process will be affected by the local network speed and hardware capacity. For premium users, cloud extraction will be your best choice. When a task runs in the cloud, you can shut down the app or your computer. There's no need to worry about hardware limitation. Data extracted will be saved in the cloud and can be accessed anywhere at any time. Plus, task scheduling, API, and proxy rotation are all possible with cloud extraction. For this example, we set a task to run in loco. Now, you've learned about the basics about Octopars and also accomplished your first task. Head over to the app and try it out yourself. If you have a website in mind that you'd like to learn about, leave us a comment. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and case studies.